Hello, and welcome to Science Word Videos. Today I'll be showing you how to design an Element t-shirt using the Atomic Attire design. I have chosen lithium, element number three on the periodic table, as the example for this project. In addition to the shirt from Science Wear, you will need the following items. Black Sharpie permanent markers for tracing and labeling. Fine and extra fine tip work really well. Assorted colors of fabric markers or Sharpie permanent markers. A smooth piece of cardboard, foam board, or thick paper that will fit inside the shirt. A couple of large paper clips or binder clips. A completed note-taking sheet that has your research information on your element. And some simple clip art that can be traced to help illustrate your element's uses. I recommend you have between three and six images. You may also choose to have the following optional items available. Crystal's dimensional fabric paint, Q-tips that can serve as disposable paintbrushes or a small paintbrush, a foil covered paper or plastic plate to use as a painter's palette, a small can of water for rinsing the paintbrush, and finally a rag or a paper towel for drying the brush. Begin this project by placing a piece of thick paper or cardboard inside the shirt. This will prevent ink from the markers from bleeding through to the back side of the shirt. Smooth out the shirt and cardboard on a flat surface and clip the cardboard and fabric together. The smoother the fabric, the better. Refer to the notes on your note-taking sheet and carefully begin transferring the text information onto your shirt. I like to use black extra fine and fine tip Sharpie brand markers for writing the text on the shirt. I've tried several different less expensive brands of permanent markers and have found the ink is not as permanent and will fade and bleed when you wash your project. For this reason, I recommend Sharpie brand markers. To add illustrations, slide your paper image inside the shirt directly under the area you want the clip art. In a well-lit room, move near a window if you need to, you should be able to see the outline of the image through the fabric so you can carefully trace. If the outline is not dark enough to see, you can remove the image Trace around it with your black Sharpie marker to make it bolder and then reposition. Once you've traced the images, just color your illustrations with fabric markers. Crystal paint can also be used to glue tiny beads or sequins to represent the protons, neutrons, and electrons on your atomic model. This will give dimension to your atomic model, but also requires a longer drying time. Once the shirts are finished, consider having an atomic attire fashion show and invite other classes, parents, and even the media. It's a great way to share science with the rest of your school and community. More information on the fashion show can be found at sciencewear.net. I would love for you to share pictures of your atomic attire creations. You can email the images to info at sciencewear.net. Please comment with your city and state and grade level. Thank you very much 